proposed rock crushing operation in Burnett County causing concern for people tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jennifer Sanders. I'm Daniel Marina. The residents fears range from water contamination to even caves collapsing. Our Nabil Ramadna spoke with the group working to raise awareness about this operation. He has more. Signs like these. We're putting out signs. We're handing out flowers. Are posted up outside many properties in Burnett County near Inks Lake. You'll find some at gas stations and even along the highways. This whole area is near and dear to our hearts. You'll even find some outside Camp Longhorn. Nan Manning, the camp's director, is part of the fight against the proposed plant. If you have to build it somewhere, you've got to find a place where it's not going to affect the ecosystem and it's not going to affect the environment. It's not going to affect this many people. While details are still limited about the rock crushing plant, there are a number of concerns. Air quality, trucks going up and down the roads and possible runoff. The primary thing I think is the water, the water situation. Um, and we know the value of water. That sinkhole, we have hundreds of them, maybe even thousands of them all the way through the caverns. Another concern from people living in this area are the many caves and caverns, just like this one. People living here think that if that rock crushing plant comes in, they might see cave ins or even sinkholes. For me and Ortiz, worries about the possibility of explosives being used. They'll cause fracturing and a lot of problems that we don't even know long term how much is going to negatively impact our state parks. You may start plugging up some of the pathways that feeds into the caverns. The community now hoping to hear more about the plans, but also hoping to raise awareness about what's going on. It's so important that the public understand that they are involved. This is the only Texas Hill Country we'll ever have. In Burnett, Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. Yeah, we didn't name the company behind the proposed project, but we did reach out to them to give them an opportunity to address these concerns. We're also still waiting to hear back from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality for specifics about the project. 